If you think about your awareness, you will begin to realize that the notion of its unity may in itself be an illusion. Combinational systems, when aligned properly, can indeed give the impression of unification. A rudimentary example that we might all be familiar with is our home entertainment centers. Whether it be an old speaker system connected to a CD player, or a newer surround sound fully integrated with your new high-definition flat-screen television. You can tinker with your surround sound so that although each speaker is in different corners of your room, the music will feel like it's coming directly from the center. To buttress this idea further, I often give an analogy to my philosophy classes that came to me from watching various bands play at the Tomorrowland Terrace in Disneyland. Imagine that there are different musicians, each playing different instruments, tuning up. Finally, after much tuning, each musician starts to play in harmony with the other players until finally they unite into one beautiful song. Further imagine that once this unification occurs, a conductor appears, waving his baton, acting like he's been conducting the music all along. However, you know that he only arose after all the musicians were in harmony. The conductor wasn't the cause of the music. He was most pointedly the result of the music, even if he or she acts as if they were the maestro all along. If consciousness is indeed the result of a combinational connection of various parts of the body system, but most particularly the brain, then it would make great sense to try to understand each of those distinct but not segregated components first. We are the result of a cerebral symphony, and as such our sense of self or I-ness only arises after the neural ensemble has reached a sufficient harmony.